Spiritual will is what sets calibrated level of consciousness. What sets your calibrated level of consciousness is not the act, but the intention behind the act. <clears throat> the freedom of choice is the one last freedom one has. Even in the very depths of hell, there was still the freedom of choice. At that point, God could have been refused forever out of bitterness and hatred. And I would have then become a member of the lower astral. Those who have refused God live there. So the freedom of choice was, is, is always present. Even as somebody is chopping you up, you can transcend the instant. I respected the valor of the guy as he killed me. I really loved him in a way. I could see the sincerity and power and total commitment of the spiritual warrior in this guy. I mean, he was, for God, if it cost him my life, and he knew it was costing him his life, I guaranteed that. And he guaranteed the end of my life. So, but in the moment of killing each other, we like, um, respected each other at a very high level. I recognized his devotion to God, and I died complimented that I was killed by somebody who killed me out of their devotion to God, and he was equally honored by my killing him. So we were of service to each other, you might say. The choices that are available to you, to everyone, depends on your level of evolution of consciousness. If you trans, if you have reached the point of spiritual nobility, then that choice to honor the spiritual commitment of what the world would call your opponent is open to you. From this level, you would only hate him. So the options that are open to you reflect the level of your own development of your own consciousness. So one reason to evolve in consciousness is because the choices that are open to you are not open to people who haven't reached that point. The choice of forgiving people is not open majority of mankind doesn't think of forgiving your enemy, right? That's not a prevailing attitude. <laughs> now, you hate them for, for many generations, right? In the Middle East, they just go on hating each other generation after generation, century after century. For a thousand years, they don't stop. So the option to not hate doesn't, apparently is not there, with the exception of individuals within, within there who probably evolve as a result of all this and say, you know, this is stupid. (laughs) And now they've got an option to cop out. But until you get unhooked from that lower energy field of hatred, if you're caught in the spleen, you're caught in the spleen. So to one who is caught in the spleen, you don't have the option of loving. It's not within your capacity. So the value of spiritually evolved people to each other is they radiate that capacity in, into your aura. So the shared aura of spiritually evolved people brings to you, you know you've got the option of forgiveness. No matter how bad it is, you know, uh, there is no justified resentment. The option to forgive is, is capable. So we'll just say one last thing and then we'll conclude. All that is required is already present within you. The love of God is so powerful so deep, so innate, to the very essence of your beingness, that if you find it, you will find that within yourself, there is the power and the willingness to surrender all, including life itself, to God. There is within yourself already a powerful devotion. You say, I don't have the power to do that. If you summon it forth, within yourself, is already existent. For thee, O Lord God, do I lay down my life in all of its details. The power of that devotion lies within all of you, and it's the guarantee of your salvation. <laughs>